Recently, there's been a hashtag going around about remastering Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. This got me thinking, if TTYD was to get remastered, what changes could be made to the battle system to help tweak and balance it? I was planning on doing this video for some time now, and with all the posts and videos about the possibility of a TTYD remaster going around, I figure now is a good time. Hello everyone, Micah87 here. These are the changes that I feel I would most benefit TTYD's battle system based on my experience as not only someone who has played the game countless times, but also as someone who has spent many hours challenge running it as well. Let's dive in starting with... Stage changes. These are changes I'd make to how the stage mechanics work. Fog should be removed. It's easily the worst stage effect of them all, as there's practically no way to work around it. Even some fog clearing moves can still miss before the fog goes away. Falling props being slower would also be nice. It would make getting hit by one feel less cheap since you can easily see it coming and it's more realistic to guard it. Aside from that, I'm fine with the stage mechanics. They add some nice spice to battles and I don't mind them as long as it's possible to work around them easily. Next is partner changes. These are changes I would make to Mario's partners and their movesets. First is Goombella. Multibonks should be nerfed as it can do insane damage with high attack power. Having his hit decreased by 2 instead of 1 could work well. Beyond that, I don't think any changes are needed. Now let's look at Koops. Koops is well balanced and I don't think he needs any notable changes. Some say him being knocked over should be changed, but I feel it's a fine weakness for him to have, especially since you can guard attacks that would knock him over to prevent it. Floria is next. She's pretty well balanced, I don't think she needs any changes. Yoshi on the other hand is probably the partner that needs the most nerfing. Ground Pound and Stampede need similar treatment to Multibunk as they can do insane damage. Mini Bag also does too much damage with attack buffs. Perhaps the egg should do a fixed one damage that doesn't increase with attack buffs. Similarly to Tornado Jumps Tornadoes or a Bomb Squad. Vivian is next. I think she's fine for the most part, though Infatuate is a somewhat underwhelming move for Ultra Rank. I'm not sure how to improve it, so if anyone has ideas, feel free to share them. Now let's look at Bobbery. He could benefit from some better moves. Most notably, Holdfast is pretty bad, as it only works with some contact attacks. I don't think the concept is bad, it just suffers from not helping with the majority of attacks. Making attacks like Bite and Stomp attacks from the dragons cause recoil to them could help a bit. I also think adding a fourth bomb to Bomb Squad once Bobby reaches Ultra Ring could make him a bit better overall. Lastly, there's Miss Mouse. She's easily the worst partner in battle, but it seems she's more about finding things or stealing items and badges from enemies, so she doesn't need to be all that great in battle. Perhaps making Love Slap do one more damage at all ranks, as well as restore SP properly, could help. Smooch is pretty bad as well, since there are far more effective healing options. It either needs to drop an FP cost significantly, or be replaced by something else. Badge and Attack Changes These are changes I'd make to the badges in the game, or Mario's attacks. It might be good to make Spring Jump's action command easier. It is currently possible with lots of practice, but it's probably the hardest move to execute. Making less possible speeds for it could help, as there's currently a whopping 21 different speeds it can choose. The fact that hammer attacks can only target front enemies is the reason why they're often inferior. Instead of the hammer throw badge being attack, maybe it could allow you to throw certain kinds of hammer attack to hit any enemy. In that case, it probably should cost more than 1 BP. Realistically, a change this big is unlikely, but I thought it'd be worth mentioning anyway. Both filling fine badges should protect against all statuses in my opinion. Being able to protect against freeze could make it better. I mean, it costs 4 BP for an already situational use. It should at the very least protect against all statuses with that kind of a cost. Head Rail is very limited when it comes to confusing enemies. It might be good to make it so Head Rail has a chance to confuse the enemies that are nearby as opposed to just the enemy it hits. The HP rating badges were understandably greatly nerfed from 64. They're pretty useless as a result. HP Dream was insanely powerful in the first Paper Mario, so it probably wouldn't be a good idea to have them restore 1 HP per hit, but they could stand to be buffed a bit. Perhaps they should restore a certain fraction of the damage dealt to an enemy. For example, if it restored 20% of the damage dealt, an attack that did 10 damage could restore 2 HP. It could also cap at 3 HP restored instead of 5 like in the original. If HP Dream takes this route, FP Dream probably shouldn't since restoring more than 1 HP per attack is probably a bit much. Jumpman's cost might need to be increased to 3 or 4. At 2, it becomes a very low cost way to destroy your foes, and losing hammer isn't actually that much of a downside. I don't think the rush badges should stack. Being able to equip multiple power rushes or mega rushes and gaining into peril can be insane. I think it should work like in the original, where having both power rush and mega rush on would only increase attack by 5, and having a bunch of power rushes would only increase attack by 2 if you're in danger no matter how many you're equipped. Pity Flyers should have a significantly higher chance of restoring FP upon taking damage. It currently only works 30% of the time. Perhaps increasing it to 80% or even 100% would make it more viable. 
Paralysis has been nerfed just like Multibonk. Simply having it do 2 less damage per hit could still work well. Quick change could probably be less insane if it costed 1 or 2 FP to switch a partner without taking a turn. While this badge is equipped, the player could either choose to swap a partner without taking a turn for a small amount of FP, or opt to take a turn but not spend any FP, much like how using multiple irons with double dip costs FP. Return posted should work on more attacks, like I mentioned with Hold Fast. It also should probably cost less BP, perhaps 5 instead of 7. Tornado Jumps Tornadoes should do more damage if there's an attack buff. As it is, they do a fixed 2 damage, which is pretty lame. Next up is item changes. These are changes I'd like to see made to the items in the game. Honestly, I don't think items should benefit that much from being changed. It makes sense for some to be very useful, while others are not. I would like to see the 20% chance of poisons when fully restoring HP be removed, or significantly reduced so it can be more reliable for danger or peril setups. Fire prop dealing 1 damage to the user, like in the original, would be an interesting change as well. Finally, star power changes. Most of the star powers in the game are good as well. The only one I change is Supernova. I think it should either cost 5 SP or deal slightly more damage. As it is, our attack is almost always a superior choice to it. Showstopper is fine, but doesn't pack much of a punch compared to the other late game star powers. I'm not sure how I change that though. That pretty much covers all the changes I'd make to TTYD's battle system. As always, if you have any ideas you'd like to share, feel free. Also consider subscribing if you'd like to see a more Paper Mario content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.